at the Ramshackle Inn, which you all have renamed to be the White Moose Inn, uh, it's been three days that you've been fixing up the inn. Uh, it's got you've been clearing out the cobwebs, putting in some candles, getting the place lit up and not quite so drafty, plugging in holes where the wind was just cutting through. Um, you have a, a visitor, and uh, a door knocks on the. Uh, someone knocks on the door, and Nimsy Huddle, the speaker of the town, walks in. She's got a plate of cookies. This time, uh, also halfling sized cookies. She goes, Oh my! Oh! I see you guys have fixed up the place. This is looking very nice. Have you had any customers yet? Suppose, suppose are, we, we are, this is, are we customers? Does this count? Well, I mean, it looks like you're almost ready for bringing in some customers. Suppose so. Oh, the windows aren't broken anymore. That's very good. I see that. the The snow isn't pouring in quite as much as it used to. Ow. Uh, behind. Yes, but it's still coming in, which is a problem. We 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 should. This is bad. This is a bad place. <laughs> She's oh, oh that's me. well, just got yeah, iron here, right? Just be proud of the fact that you have less wind coming in. I don't think there is a building in town that has, uh, really any kind of insulation. We we just no, don't have that's the technology. What I, I didn't mean the the inn itself. I meant this place, this general area we're in, is a bad place. Oh, this. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, oh my, yes. <laughs> Would you like some cookies? Sure, I'll have a cookie. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'll, absolutely. I'll have these cookies. Oh. Uh, what about you, dearie? You're looking so pale. She points to, uh, she walks over to, uh, uh to you. To you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, it's hard. She walks over to you, to you. um oh once again this is just my normal skin tone i don't get much sun so oh we haven't had sun in two years you're in good company um you hear the door open once again she goes oh it looks like your first customer and you hear the the jangle of um spurs hitting the ground as in through the door walks a short stocky woman um, who looks like this and she goes wearing spurs cool she walks in she goes well 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 I like the place you got here I see that's the white moose been looking to take that sucker down for weeks, but you beat me to it. Congratulations. My name is Lynn. Are are you looking for a room, Lynn? Well, I think you could say, yeah, yeah, I'm looking for a room, but you also seem like, uh, you took down that big white moose, and I think you can handle some work that I might be offering you. You all interested? You got some more moose need killing? Well, not exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, you see, I'm a bounty hunter. I've been running all over Icewind Dale following the trail of what I believe to be a serial killer. Oh, no. Yeah. His name is, uh... His name is Sefik Caltro. I've been trying to find him, but... He's a slippery one. Yeah? Is he, uh, like a lizard folk or something? No, he's, uh... He's he's human as far as I can tell, but there's oh. something... There's something off about him. He's charming, he makes friends easily. He works in a, a traveling merchant company named called Torgs. It's owned and operated by a shady dwarf named Torga Icevain. Gets around. He's her bodyguard, I believe. What was that guy's name again? Sethic Caltro. K A L T R O. Morgan Sethic. Okay, okay. What was the um, 
company name Caltorx? The company's name is Torgs. Torgs. T O R G apostrophe S. So uh, by... I'm just a a dainty little lady who's been hunting this guy down for some time, but I think maybe you're a better fit for it. If you can bring him in, apprehend him, ascertain his guilt, deal with him, preferably without the authorities being involved, it'll be a hundred gold pieces in it for you. Okay. And that's... Good news. Why are you telling us, though? Aren't you after this bounty, too? I'm, I'm as, as dainty and ladylike as I am, I'm going to admit that I'm getting a little old for this. I give you the job. He, this guy's... I've been injured one too many times. I've got scars all over me, and I'm... I'm, I'm needing a day of rest. I'll, I'll be I'll be here in your lovely inn. Inn. I, I-N-N. Inn. Yeah. In the inn. Yeah. In, in the inn. In... When? That's hard to pronounce. Right. Maybe we should change it to the White Moose Resort. I like resort. I like. Uh, I like. Uh, yeah. I like that. All right. See, it's all about mine. The attitude. I I, I love the decoration. As well, a you know, tropical paradise, maybe it will be. Or the White Moose Lodge. I don't think our. I like to consider it a, a, a resort. I need to call this woman. Hold on. I'll be fine. <laughs> um, can I insight check Lynn real quick? Yeah. Uh, 15. Okay. Um, she's, uh, she's got, she's basically a retired bounty hunter. She's, she's telling you everything, but her story doesn't, uh, she's not exactly giving you everything at this point. She's not giving okay. you the full story at this point, but but as far as you can tell, she is telling the truth. She's she's laying out the cards, but she's holding her some close to her. Okay. Well, where do we start? Where did you uh, see this? <sighs> well, Murderer. I would say that. So it's a traveling merchant company. I think if you'll start heading to some other towns and ask around, you'll probably be able to find them. Right. We should ask the innkeepers there. And other what was the name of the company? Or what was the name of the uh, owner of the company again? Torga. Torga Ice Vein. She's a... She's one... Rough character. Torga. Now we don't know. If, yeah, to be I'm honest, I don't not. know. I'm I'm fairly certain that he's the killer, but I don't know if he's acting alone. So I'd advise you to isolate him and dispose of him quietly, if such action is called for. So was Torg her father, or is Torg just a short name for Torga? I believe it's the latter. I'm going to go with the okay. latter. Torga, Torga, Torga. Sounds, sounds familiar. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, I would say that, yeah, as you're traveling, keep an eye out. This is kind of something that you'll be, uh, be able to investigate on your own. Okay. I'll be here. Do you know the last locations he was possibly at? There are a lot of towns in Ten Towns. I mean, there's ten of them. Right. I mean, I would say that probably a good place to go would start being at Bren... Uh, <laughs> brain fart, let me... Uh, hold on. Uh, Terminate? Terminate? Oh. Yeah, probably, probably want to start there. <laughs> Can you guys hear her? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh, Very like cute. Uh, Tourmaline first, if we uh, if we head out that way, right? Looks like a, that's a big town. A Tourmaline is actually your probably if you're heading towards Bryn Shander, Tourmaline would be on the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Trey. Yeah. Roll intelligence. Oh. 
Okay. I have a plus. Well, uh, what kind of intelligence roll? I think I have advantage on intelligence rolls. Okay. Just, is this history or? Uh, I was gonna say just straight intelligence, but go ahead and roll. Uh... This would probably be more like insight. Yeah, roll insight, which is not exactly intelligence, but probably more fitting. All right, fifteen. Okay. Um, your little robot companion. Mm-hmm. He. Uh, he begins talking to you, and he goes, he goes. Hey, Sarge. 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 Uh. You need to go to Termalane. You gotta go to Termalane. We need something there, Sarge. By the way, um, the rest of the group, you guys, um, don't hear this. I sure is quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, do hey, do I know that they can't hear this? Do I do I realize that they can't hear this? Uh, no, or is this, I'm just talking to my. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fair. Uh, little Miss uh, Nimsy goes. Oh. Well. It looks like you all will be heading out. Uh, I will say that uh, I've got these cookies are part of the sacrifice. Uh, if you all won't want any more, I'll be sacrificing <laughs> these to the goddess. Um, I'll just be on my way. Uh, Were these cookies better than last time? Oh, good question. Roll 1d20. I don't tell you I got an 8. It's the same exact recipe. You rolled an eight last time too. They have yeah. not improved. They're still dry as fuck. They're. We don't but... have to roll anymore. This is just what they are. Yeah, you, yeah. This is. They have not. This is. This is the reality of her situation. She makes bad cookies. Yeah. What is she smoking? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. Um. Doesn't matter though. Uh, she's smoking some tobacco, just like n nothing too dank. Um, pretty dry, like almost like just dried grass at this point. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, what's her name? Lynn. Lynn goes. Well. I think I'll be taking the first room that's available. Uh, wh what's your rates? Well, you know, I mean, I haven't discussed it with the rest of my group yet. But if you're going to stay here, we're going to be gone. Why don't you just run the inn? Call it even. Got some little kids around here that need you to whip up into shape, though. You want me to uh, manage your establishment? Is that what you're saying? You want us to leave it to hunt your bounty? Well, I was just looking for a room. I wasn't necessarily... I don't know if I have uh, hospitality experience, but... Just take the money. Tell them how much it is. We haven't even had a customer yet. <laughs> how about this? I'll make sure your place doesn't burn down if you'll let me stay for free until you complete... until you bring back Sephic Caltro's head or dead or alive. Okay, so what if somebody... Okay, just say, what if somebody comes in here... He's got two big sacks of gold coins, and he wants to stay here. He says, oh, God, if I only had a place to stay for the night, what would you do? I'm not saying I'd rob him, but... I hope you say that you won't rob him. Actually, I do need you to say that now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't rob him. Thank you. Damn, I didn't even know we needed to cover that. <laughs> But now that will be, we'll, we'll need to mark that down as a standard for all, uh, for all future guests. Absolutely, no writing. Uh, all right. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll, we'll make that part of the contract. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not like you know we got a shitload of business coming in, so I, you know, why not? Serial killer, got to be stopped. 
Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to know before you head out on your bounty? Mm. No. Old Suffolk. Gotta go down. Nice. All right. I'll see you when I see you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Torgan. Yeah. What, what's that? Torgan. Do you think do you think Torga's working with this guy? Or do you think maybe she's like, uh, you know, well, doesn't know what's up? It could be that she's, I mean, she's got herself a pretty tricky operation. I'm not going to go in. It's definitely not above grade as far as uh, that goes. But mm -hmm. I'm not entirely certain that she's actively involved in these murders. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Well, I guess... That's everything. Let's go. All right. I'll be, I'll be seeing when I see you. Let's get to Trojan. Okay. Um, as you all head out, um, it's a, the snow is just indomitable. It is it is completely um, dark and cold as per usual. You all are going to be traveling a little bit. Uh, so the the distance to Tourmaline is a two-hour trip by foot. Um, you all will be... Did we know that before? Go, like, did we, uh, did we stock up for this? Yeah, if you want to go and stock up for this, for moving out, um, go ahead and, uh, let's see, three miles snow. It's a... Uh, Characters can walk on foot the path to Tourmaline in two hours. Uh, mounts and dog sleds are shortened by 50%, which would be one hour. Mm. So you probably don't need too much yeah. other than what you're already carrying on this trip. And that big town, when we get to that big town, maybe we can get some stuff there. Maybe we get like a dog sled or something like that where we don't have to walk. Yeah, yeah. Or at the very least some like, like traveling, like bed sheets and... Uh, tents and stuff if we need to like not be in the city if we like this I, I was i thought if we like wanted up in the wilderness or something but i think we're good all right yeah we've camped we camped out in the woods before nothing happened well i mean you know we yeah. camped okay um oh do we need food or like are you counting rations or anything yeah so rations are one per day when you spent the night in the forest because um you managed to take down a rabbit that replaced your rations for that night for that day um, but it is one pound of rations per day right so if you were carrying 10 rations you have 10 days worth of food on you okay. we probably still got plenty of that from our like starting up yeah um, but again plus we I did know. take a bunch of moose flesh and cook and smoke it and mm. make jerky out of it yeah um, so, yeah, and Lonelywood, uh, before, before she leaves, the little Nimsy, uh, halfling speaker says, oh, uh, would you like to, would you care to, uh, offer any sacrifices to, uh, Aurel today? In our town, it's customary for us to offer sacrifices of food. We're not we're not savages mm -hmm. like Bryn or Torga. Uh, wait, no, uh, Targo. Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, Bryn. Just... Yeah, Bryn's chant. Uh, Bryn is. Uh, they offer human sacrifices. They're they're savages. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we might have something there. And that's and that's not something you do. Yes. No, we offer food. Just ah, the food. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. When, yeah, uh, if I had a choice of the two, yeah, yeah. we we can't afford to give up people. I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest, in an effort to alleviate Oral's wrath, I might we would we would probably sacrifice maybe a person here and there. Oh Lord, we didn't even ask you if you wanted to. You're already trying to just sacrifice people <laughs> and up the, up the thing. Damn! Look, I don't think Oral is listening to you guys. I think Oral is not. Yeah, was... Oh. Oral is she is clearly distressed and yeah. for the past two years has been punishing us greatly, that's all. Yeah. For what our if, transgressions you know, against her. What if some other god could help out? You know? 
could maybe alleviate some of the stress, pain of this unending winter. Unending winter. Well, there is a uh, the god of the sun, um, Almanter. Uh, is is that who you're talking about? Well, that'd be good too. But I was just thinking about. Have you ever heard of Buffett? Excuse me. <laughs> the dwarven god of summer, storms. You can clear all this away and and bring out bring out the sun. Cause a, a you know a, like a chill a chill vibe effect throughout the whole town. Uh, it's easy. What what it's easy. It's easy. What, what do we need to sacrifice like hands? Do we That's cut off thing. our hands? No, Is you that... don't have to sacrifice anything but your liver. We have to drink. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. Church is drinking. We go to church for Buffett, we just drink, we get drunk, and we wake up the next day and we feel good about, you know, we move on from that and to the next thing, and, and it will Do help Do you us. feel good from all that drinking? I feel fine. A little grapefruit and juicy fruit. I can tell you from experience there's some flaws in that religion. There's... <laughs> there's hey, some definite flaws in that I was going to say, religion. if anyone hung over this morning is going to comment. It's working. It's working for me. You gotta listen to Buffy. You wake up, you feel bad. Grapefruit. Bathe in soup. Also, this is chew a little juicy fruit. Wash away the night. You're done. This is giving me such Book of Mormon vibes. Like, you don't know. Just you know, don't don't sacrifice the. No, just you know, just margaritas and chill, man. That's that's what that's what God yeah. wants in the whole yes. book. Hey, that's what Buffett wants. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Those that does sound very nice. How about this? Um, where where is his temple? Where is the, this Buffett? Bu is it Buffet or Buffet? It's actually Buffet. It may be Buffet in some other. Maybe in his plane, it's Buffet, but it's Buffet here. Okay. Um, are we still in the inn? Yeah, you guys are. You haven't left yet. Oh, you're looking at it. Oh, oh. This yeah. this is uh. It's not just that. You, you realize someone awesome. was hung here, right? And Buffett forgives. It must have been pretty tough <laughs> out here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I. He sounds like a very chill dude. Um, yes, Buffett's a very chill dude. I, you'll hear more about him. I've, I've got plenty of. Do you need a pamphlet? You, uh, do you have a pamphlet? Sure, I got a pamphlet. Okay. Uh, here, have a pamphlet. Oh. Oh, I like yeah. this. It's got very fine print. Who who drew this? Who wrote this? All the colors. Well, that was me. You have very very nice handwriting, young man. Thank you. Well, in the meantime, we I suggest we do like the locals, and I hand a pound of smoked moose meat. Oh, to... this is this is going to be great. This is this is some good stuff. This is very good. It's only a quick smoke because it's only been a few days, but in a month we'll have the best stuff done. Oh, you're, you're, you're going to slow roast this? Oh, that's going to be... Put it outside. That's going to be some good meat, some good-ass meat. Before um, coming here, I did research on religion, but some of the facets of your beliefs are strange to me but since you are all helping me uh survive i will not do what i would or say what i would normally say to people who would normally bring up such interesting beliefs with okay, food fine. And... well you got you got plenty of strange facets too blue dude so why don't we all just keep our mouth shut there <laughs> cool you know what you know what? Fair. <laughs> let's, that's true. True shit. Let's uh, let's all just let let. We're all weird. <laughs> hey, actually though, there is somebody who is not doing that, and we need to, I think, go get that guy. You all are weird to me. Hey, we're all fruitcakes, man. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh, you, you're kind of you're current lead is that Sefik was probably last seen in the town of Bryn Shander. Um, it's just a big enough town that if anyone's going to be found, you could probably start there and, and start looking. Um, but first, you're going to be heading to Tourmaline, which is two hours to the south 
beast. Um, when you guys set out, there, uh, it, there's a cert, there's a mechanic of travel that if you go if you travel over three hours, there'll be a roll for uh, an encounter or a event. But um, because it's only two hours, uh, it passes without incident. You all arrive in Termalane if you are ready to head out. There, there yep. wouldn't be uh, any issue. Before we get there, I want to ask Skip, my familiar, is like just floating next to me. So where, what exactly am I looking for? Oh, you need to go under, underground. Yeah, in Termaline. By the way, uh, why don't we talk more often? Because, apparently, apparently, talking to your familiar is not normal in this area. It's not a thing people do. So you talk to, Sarge. I am trying to. Yeah. Myself. Myself. I'm okay. talking to myself. Oh, all right. It helps me. It's a form of therapy. Sorry. I'm judging. Just, you just are wondering. Strong. Right. Um, you are important. I believe in myself. I am good. Sarge, you don't have Do to lie. You don't have to lie to them. You can tell them the truth. It's okay. They'll understand. Everyone has someone that they talk to. I understand, Sarge. I like to sing to myself. Come Monday, we'll be all right. Just, just make it to Termalane, and then, and then I'll take you underground. Just want you back by my side. Okay. I, I don't say anything else. Okay. Um, do you all head out? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Termalane. Ta-da! Oh, they look fancy. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger of a town. Um, as you arrive, you see uh, this one's a little bit more heavily guarded. There's more guards. There's more, a little bit more activity. It's still not a large city. Uh, um, not on the scale of Bryn Shander or East Haven. But this is... Uh, has definitely more foot traffic than Lonelywood, which is the like last stop. Mm -hmm. um, you see that this place is also more heavily guarded. There are um, there seems to be a, a kind of a commotion with guards standing around outside of buildings, um, talking amongst themselves, and and there's. There's like a, a general agitation in their um, kind of demeanor. The city itself, though, is beautiful. Um, this town is considered uh, to be the most picturesque town of in Icewind Dale. They have uh, the buildings incorporate carvings of wizards, homunculi, tigers, smiling djinn. Um, it's just an enchanting town. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I guess if we're just passing through, we should, uh, I want to maybe look into like a dog sled or you said some other kind of vehicle, I think. So a there's, wagon. yeah, there's dog sled. Um, there's also, uh, mounts you can have. In, what's oh, right. That's what you said. Mounts, mounts, mounts. It's, it's basically a Tauntaun slash, um, bird. <laughs> oh wait, what? So there's there's called axe beaks. They're uh, they're two legged, kind of ostrich looking tauntaun type creatures that. Oh, that's a chocobo now. How much are they? That's a good question. It's <laughs> a good question. Let me let me look that up for you. Um, I I want to say that they are. Let's go to uh, items. Da -da -da -da. Let me get back to you on that. Um, yeah. I'll get back to you on that shortly. So, um, yeah, you guys arrive in town. As you all are kind of walking around, there's a, uh, a small 
kid nearby who is uh, he seems to be a town crier and he's he's uh wrapped in heavy winter clothes sh- shouting the day the news of the day as people pass by uh, as you approach the boy cries uh, the gemstone mine is closed because of monsters speaker Matthew is offering 50 gold to anyone who clears it out um and he's waving he's standing outside of uh, a place called the blue clam which is the like a local inn basically right um Where's where's the where's the speaker at? Uh, Ask the boy. He, okay, the boy goes. Oh, uh, if you're looking for uh, the town speaker, <clears throat> you could probably find him inside. He's at the Blue Clan. Oh, okay. Right, right inside. Like, oh. Wait, what time of day is it? Uh, you guys head out early in the morning on the third day um, since arriving in Icewind Dale, so it would be probably like ten in the morning. Let's say you, okay. you guys head out at eight in the morning or so. You guys are early wake, early to wake up. Oh, um, I was I want to ask the boy about um, what we like. You said whatever the agitation is in the city, like what's going on with the guards and stuff. She goes. Uh, the, the kid goes. Oh, uh, yeah. So it, there's a little bit of a uh, mm, politics. And he and he leans in. And he goes. Not everyone is having fun under the new speaker's orders. Mm, who was, uh, who's not having fun? The guards, for one. The oh. militia. Okay. Agitated militia, okay. Yeah. Good work, boy, good work. I give him a uh, silver piece. Okay, subtract one silver. He goes, oh, thank you, sir. And then uh, he was looks... Was there at, any other look, news? He looks at the rest of you and goes, well... There might be a little bit of news, but I, I can't quite remember. My, if only I had some more silver to, you know, grease the wheels. I just stare daggers at him. You don't have any <laughs> You're kidding, wheels. No. Oh, you, he goes, oh, no, you're good. You're good, my dude. <laughs> oh, I know him. But uh, your friends here. Oh, more questions, more gold. Yeah, okay, yeah. He. I mean, I think How this about, is a good job. I stand closer to him in the heat radiating off of my body. He's like, how about a little bit of warmth for a second? He goes, oh, this is nice. Uh, but warmth ain't gonna feed me. Are you, are you, are you doing this in a menacing way? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> it gets hotter and hotter. I'm about to go into a rage and burst into flames. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll intimidation. Fuck this child up. Okay, so that's an 18 minus 1, so 17. Okay, that's... He goes, all right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. You're looking for some more information? I got some. I got I got a, a nice juicy rumor that I heard. <clears throat> and he... Um, he goes, so you guys, uh, you ever been to East Haven? It's no a town. Idea what that is. Can't say I have not. East, East Haven is a town. It's a little bit. It's like southeast of here. It's across the gorge. From what I hear, they had an evil wizard. They lit him to a. They put him to a stake and they lit him on fire. You know why? Because he hired some ten towners to help him find a buried tower, and then he killed him to keep its location secret. Well, one of them told me where the tower's at, but you know, I wouldn't go myself. Maybe it's something you'd like to explore. Indeed. Ooh. Where is the tower? Oh. I mean... I toss him a few silver, uh, since that is actually a worthy story. Okay. Uh, Three silver. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and he's like... Well, I... You'd probably be able to find the tower if you head over to East Haven. Um, that's the shield, the the wizard, all that shit's happening down there. East Haven. So you paid him for paid him for information you already given us. Okay, okay. Um, I would like good work, I would kid. Like information as well, child. Uh, Give me information. <laughs> uh, I I would like to know about the location of the nearest hot spring. 
Ah. It was. I was told there are some very soothing hot springs in this area. I would like to go to there. I hear that there's one in uh, Lake Denishir, right next to the lake. Yes. I... Yes. How? I just need to know where that is. How far away is that location from us? I heard once that there was one. There might be one over by Kerr Conig. Or maybe it was Dugan's Hole. Yeah. It's either Kerr Conig or. It's Kerr Conig or Dugan's Hole. One or the other. Man, those are far away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near each other. Um. Well, well, to you, is there um, anything you want wow. to ask? And he looks at you. He goes. So, uh, you gonna you gonna pay me for that, or little kid? Let me uh, give you a piece of no, advice. Absolutely not. I'll I give you a tip. Work. How about that? If you have information, you need to get money first. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, sir. <laughs> Indeed. Have a good day. Oh wait, hey little kid. What's up, my lady? Uh, can you spread the word that there's a new inn open in Lonelywood? Mm. Mm. You know what? You may want to go over to uh, our local inn and uh, let them know. Oh, yeah. Maybe that maybe the person there would be cool with letting you do a little bit of advertising. Uh, the local okay. the local oh. inn is called the uh, shit. What's it called? Oh, the East Side. Okay. The oh, Tavern. that's not just a directionary <laughs> title on the map. Yeah, that's what got me. I, I was like, oh. I was like the east, and I was like, okay, is that like the yeah, area? No, it's a, the... it's the building. It's the actual inn. I thought that was the east entrance of the <laughs> of the town. I thought that was like, oh, if you're coming in, if you're coming in from the east, yeah. that's this is where you came from. Right. The job wizards of the coast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, is blue, is blue clam a, just a bar? Blue Clam is a tavern, yeah. Okay. So in Lonelywood, it's tavern and inn together, but here... No, there's a tavern in Lonelywood, too. Okay, never mind. Yeah, and, and I would say that Lonelywood... You, yours place is whatever you want it to be, really. If you want to have... Well, a there's room, already a tavern there, right? Yeah, there is a tavern, but I would say that it's not unusual for an inn to also have a small bar and, and counter for food and drinks. A small temple above it. But we will not cannibalize the local tavern. We will serve things that they don't have there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just continental breakfast. Random foods from around the world, since we're not from this area. Yeah. An international house of breakfast. <laughs> I <Bye>, have. <Hob. laughs> right, uh, hold on one second. I'll be right back. You guys can kind of figure out what you, where you want to do next. No um, so, so tis the speaker? At the blue clam, yeah. Blue clam. Also, kind of want to fight these monsters in the gym, mind. Yeah, 50 gold. The, the, the speaker will, the speaker gems. will know that. Ooh, gems money, mean but... we can pick up free money and then we get money for beating the monsters. Yeah. I don't think they're going to let us take gems out of the gym mine for free. I mean, <laughs> if they're, if no one's there... While we're fighting the monsters, we can just... Oh, okay, we're thieves now. Yeah. We're a group of thieves. We're a band of thieves. Okay, I didn't... I wasn't aware. Opportunist. Oh, okay. Opportunist. The opportunity... I, I mean, I to just start using my powers to kill people and take all their money and stuff. <laughs> but I don't do it. Because it I ain't am, right. I am a very moral individual, but I am also very broke, and I am slowly understanding how much currency runs this society uh, mm -hmm. we 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 need to be we need to have cash hey but we're also I mean, valuable man we're valuable like they said they need somebody to kill those monsters you know we can kill those monsters that's 50 bucks we can get money we don't have to steal it that said i'm good but i'm also chaotic good so maybe if we can get the dirt on this on whoever owns the gym you know if they're fucked to begin with then we can take their shit Right? I won't rob yeah. someone, but I... I won't not rob someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only going to rob Look. robbers. 
All right. Look, I don't really care that much about. I don't. If I could go through this world without money, I'd be very happy. I don't really care for it. I what I care for is I am. Let's say sick. This. I came down with something as I was, uh, as I came to this area. Uh, I got a, a sort of disease. I, I need to, I, I need a healer. I, I, I've been looking for healing. So that's. You're familiar. Goes, you know, I know healing uh, magic. You're familiar. Goes, Sarge, you're not sick. You're not sick. Don't, don't, don't say that, Sarge. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, no, well, I mean, yeah. We'll, we'll... So I'm very sick, and I need <laughs> some... I, I need a... Uh, you you are an accomplished healer. Yes, you are, right. but I, I I need a... You've got I something a, a little stronger, more chronic. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I need a specialist. Well, I've heard that those hot springs will uh, yeah. take care, uh, have some healing magic to them, and might be able to take care of this affliction. So but, uh, that, there, yeah. that is something yeah. that, that is well, something that I'm looking for. Well well thanks for telling me, uh Sarge. I appreciate it. I had no idea. And you know I just a, I don't wanna I don't want to steal. If I could go through my life without stealing, then then I'd be good. But unfortunately, you know, maybe we have to. But you know we'll cross the road when we get there. Where should we go first? I will, uh, blue plan? Blue clam. Blue clam. Blue clam. It's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, perfect. You guys head into the dockside tavern called the Blue Clam, which is where that little kid was kind of standing on the corner. Uh, the fishers of Tourmaline typically finish their days here. They're kind of like sitting on the bench, uh, eating. It smells like spice chowder. Uh, there's beautiful works of scrimshaw hung on the walls. Uh, the bartender named Vernon Bragg. I I hope I'm saying that right is also the owner and chef uh, of this establishment. One of the, he's in a uh, deep conversation with one of the patrons who is a, um, who looks to be, both are half orcs and are, uh, seem to be good buddies, but um, he, he's, this place is fairly busy right now. Um, and, and warmth is kind of radiating from within. Well, I'm going to go get a drink. Uh, you guys want anything? Just a hot tea. I'll, I'll take a hot tea, please. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to go. I want like a hurricane and like a uh, hot, a hot toddy for my friend. And uh, probably just to probably just make that two. And then probably a bourbon for the, for the rogue, roguish one. Okay. Like that. <clears throat> Vernon, uh, kind of, he's looks up to see you guys enter. He goes, "Oh, uh, well, greetings! Come on in, guys! Come on in." You didn't hear any of what I ordered, okay? No, I, I didn't. I, it, I'll write it down. I'll slide it to you. I was very much. Oh, oh, this is. I'll tell you what. Uh, we have some roasting meat, some meat roast, and we have some hot toddies. I can get those for you, but uh, with a little bit of no cinnamon problem. on it, that's my specialty. No problem. Uh, all this other shit that you wrote on this paper doesn't. Uh, I have no idea what any of this is. Oh, tea. Man, I know that one. I know tea. I could really go for a hot toddy though. That that sounds fucking amazing right now. Is it a hot toddy with rum or a hot toddy with bourbon? Uh, let me roll. <laughs> it's definitely bourbon. Do you have does rum? Does he have rum? He does. He. Well, let's. Does not. <laughs> All right, give me four. All right, uh, that'll be uh, one gold each. Shit. I got this for boys and ladies. That doesn't. What? I, I mean, my guide wouldn't know this, but uh, one gold for a drink. Hey, they're each. they're really good hot toddies. I sorry, th this is yeah, you can like work this, Sarge doesn't gold. know that, but that's like. That is wild. All right, these must be. I hope these are fucking amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about four gold for four drinks. I tell you what, 
Toss in some of that meat on a charcuterie board. Roll, yeah, make it a roll persuasion. Who's good at that? Oh, I am. Not me. Me? Oh, yeah. What's that? This is D&D, Ellie. <laughs> I chose to have an intelligent or slightly intelligent barbarian and have no charisma instead. What'd you roll? Mm. Did you? Nice. Ooh, 17. Okay, he goes, uh, all right, the, yeah, you, you, you got me. Uh, we'll do, uh, since you guys seem like you're new in town, I'll, I'll give you uh, a, a hot meal on the house with each with each of your orders, with each of your hot toddies. Make it a combo, man, I love it. I give you four gold. Two made a 19. Hell yeah. Um, so between two of you and Cat, um, as a Buffett follower, you call me Cat Lord. We were... <laughs> I read Cat Lord up there. I was like, wait, that's not his name. It's Thwarf. Is it? Isn't it? Yeah. Um, I I am gonna. I'll be real honest. I am. One gold each does sound like a bit much now that I'm thinking about it, for for a meal. So let's. I remember let's... it came somewhere that like somebody could like. More, like a day's work is like a is like a gold, or yeah. like somebody would do. A, let, let's like make a, that uh, favor for a gold. Let let me retcon that to one silver each, just to keep it from being okay. so inflated. Well, then I definitely got that then, and now I have twenty nine point five gold. All right. Um, he hands he uh he spends about ten minutes, um, fixing up a hot toddies and, and roast meals for each of you, and, and slides a plate over to each of you. The uh, orc that half orc that he was talking to looks over and says <clears throat> he is a uh, he's a like pretty witty guy. He's, he's pretty uh, young looking and he goes well uh, looks like you guys are new in town. I, I'll go ahead and be the first to introduce myself. I'm Oris Matthew uh, declared speaker of this here town. Tourmaline. Um he is the nice speaker of the town that you guys were looking for. Nice. What'd you say? What's your your first name? Oris. O a r u s. Nice to meet you, Oris. I'm Dwarf Salt Shaker. These are my compatriots. They can introduce themselves. Your last name is Salt Shaker. You're fucking goddamn right, <laughs> it is. Part of this is a joke to you. Uh, my name is Sarge Vale. Okay, thank you, Ellie. <clears throat> Very nice to meet you, sir. I'm, I'm to you. Uh, to you. Oh, that's a that's a lovely name. Thank you. Kilm. And Kilm. That is that, us. Uh, you're you're not so affected by the cold, are you? I would prefer warmer climates, but this is fine. Well, you're not going to find that anywhere around here. Well, what brings you to town, strangers? Well, other than just generally to spread joy, warmth, and, uh, you know, good cheer, uh, we're kind of looking for you. <laughs> uh, well, you found me. What can I do you, you for? Uh, well, the mines have monsters in them. Oh. Did you hear that from that little brat outside? We did hear from a little brat outside, yeah. That Is little that bastard. You know what? I, it's those damn journalists. Well, listen. Yeah, there's there's an issue. We got we got some. Hold on, guys. I got it. Ellie. <laughs> can you? Turn that little brat now. Can you? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we got an infestation in the mines. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> oh my god, no. Let's or turn I turn and run away. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. I gotta get out of here. Um Yeah, uh Wait, he's gone, right? Yeah. I'm just now That's imagining right. Oris Matthew sitting at a bar drinking while a kid is crawling all over him. I know. <laughs> it's like I gotta go is it like a little orc child just crawling all over him? Uh, like a bone. All right. 
I took care of my little monster. Let me tell you about uh, the the mine's little monsters. Uh, so yeah, we uh, Termalane is our economy is mostly based off of this mine, the gem mine, which is nearby. Uh, you'll if you look around, you'll see a lot of our buildings are decorated with gems of a certain kind called Tourmaline. It's actually where oh. this city got its name, Tourmaline. Oh, okay. Yeah. So your livelihood is dependent on selling these gems. Well, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'll tell you. Did that little bastard mention any kind of reward? Yes. Uh, hundred gold. He said he'd give. He'd okay. Give roll us deception. Deception. He didn't. Fifty gold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you? Would you roll? I rolled an eight. <laughs> okay. He goes minus one. He goes. You know, if that little kid told you hundred gold, he is straight up lying. <laughs> no. Okay. I, well, well, I'll tell you what, though. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you forty gold. What kind of monsters are we talking about, man? Uh, little dragonlings. Dragonlings. That sounds pretty dangerous. You're telling me four of us walk in there, all lose our lives trying to fight these dragonlings, uh, and all it's going to be worth to you is 40 gold. Uh, they're not that bad. Yeah, we, we clear them out every once in a while. Uh, I think the other word for them is kobolds. Ah, kobolds. Yeah, they're... they're don't, don't you worry about that. Uh, huh, we're not for 40 gold. <laughs> hmm... You you saying that uh I'll tell you what. Fifty gold. Fifty gold, clear out the mine, a couple kobolds, go in, knock them out, go out. The mine is shut down right now. We this is our this is our livelihood. I mean right. come on. Come on. Yeah, it's worth it to you, isn't it? No problem, let's go. Um hey, by the way, you know if there's a store around here that sells axe beaks or any kind of you know, vehicle, like a mount. Uh, or a sled. Dogs. Yeah. We're looking to make a journey pretty soon. I'll tell you what. what? You're going to need to go to one of the larger cities for that. Uh, either Bryn Shander <laughs> or Tur uh, East Haven. They got okay. enough of a uh, economy running that they could probably get you what uh, what you're looking for. Um, Dang. So, Rob, like, in all these towns, like, all the other houses that are, like, we can assume if it doesn't have like an arrow pointed, like there's no, there's nothing here. Like everything else is just like residential. Um, uh, yeah, but if you are insistent on, like, like that. you know, I can, I can certainly like. I'm not gonna make you make something. I'd I just have to I... assume some of these are warehouses and like mine offices and stuff too. But... Yeah, yeah, just yeah. places we can't really do shit. I mean, I'm, that's cool. I'm just, I just won't ask about stuff that's not on the map. You know what I mean? That's fair. Yeah. Uh, as far as the module goes, there. Th this is kind of the extent. However, I mean, let's let's fucking roll some role play some D and D, right? Like. Well, I mean, I just want to buy. I just want to buy an axe beat. I just want to ride it. So I mean, that's that's what Justin wants. Okay. Um, but we can also go to the thing. We'll do that on the way out. Um, I will ask him what's the distance to Bryn Shander, or is it, the kid told us East Haven is far away, so we know that's far away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bryn Shander is gonna be about a distance of. Uh, well, Bryn Shander is not gonna be the direct next town. It's gonna be Targos, which is four hours away. Four hours. Okay. If you're going on. If you're going by road, if you're going off road, you could cut to Bryn Shander, but doing that has its issues. I think like we should have a mount if we go off road. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we can make some money and then try to find some mounts, or just hook it. Yeah. If you guys are needing to yes. take a rest for the night, I want to go ahead and recommend our inn the east side uh you may want to stop by there and just have a chat with the the lovely lady the 
owner of this. You suggest doing machine. that before. You suggest doing that before we investigate the mine. It's on the way. I'm not saying you need to, but if you if you're want if you're heading that direction, you can stop by and say hey. She might give you some I don't know advice or something. But uh, well, worth the shot. Yeah. More people can you. Back. Suggest to travelers who are heading towards the Lonely Wood to check out the White Moose Lodge and Resort Casino. You, uh, you clear out our mind, uh, and our mine, and yeah, I'll I'll sing praise all day and night, buddy. Cool. Well, sounds like I just on. lean in. I lean into Kiln as we're as we're walking out. Just casino. We we're a casino now too. I don't know what we are. I just know we're adding words to the end of it. <laughs> what did you say? Lodge Casino? Yeah. You said Resort Lodge Casino. Well, it was lovely <laughs> meeting you. Good luck. I'll uh, I'll be seeing you when I see you, buddies. And he, he gives each of you, like, finger guns. And he goes, pew, pew, pew. All right. I take that as a threat. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You draw your knife I and put do it take throat. it as a threat. I think he's a mage now. <laughs> I just keep. I do it back to him, but I do it like and then I realize way too long. Happens. Just like how? When do? How? How long do we do it? I'll just put my hands. What's weird hands. is like as you're doing it, he's doing it back at you. So it's just the two of you doing it to each other, like for way too long. Please, I feel guys, less back to more sad. Fireball. <laughs> the fire, fireball goes off. Just, oh shit! Sorry. Just... Everyone in the place dies. Um, <clears throat> um, so this town also, just as a a uh, a side note, they sacrificed warmth to Oral as opposed to food or humans. So they just burn. Leave the door open. Yeah, they just burn effigies uh, on the outside of the town. So if you head over to the east side of town, you'll see some uh, kind of wooden and straw men who are, stand about the size of uh, like a, a fairly tall about 8 feet tall um, effigies that have been uh, set aflame just all in, in rows huh. what is with these places and sacrifices this... I know I mean, I mean how long are they going to keep this up nothing changes they've been doing this for two years I don't think Oral's listening wherever this person is Alright. So we go to the east side? Yes. Pop in and tell tell them that we're going into the mine. And if we don't come back in like you know yeah. a couple hours, come get us. So the east side looks from the outside it looks like separate houses. Um, but they're all kind of what it turns out to be is that they're all interconnected rooms, uh, connected by underground passages. Um, they've got cozy guest accommodations in the cellar. Um, so if you head in, uh, the innkeeper, her name is Marta Pez Crick. She's a human. Um, she's a willowy teenager who spends much of her time tending to her bedridden father, Clyde. Um, mm -hmm. And as she performs her daily chores, Marta sings the following song to herself. She sings... Oh, fuck, I gotta sing. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Ahead of winter's wind she came, the lovely woman with no name. Draped in fur lined cloak of red, to the icy lake she fled. The wind pursued her all the same, as sure as night she's dead. Uh, and as she goes about her business, oh, she goes, oh, oh, hello. Uh, sorry, I didn't see you there, I'm just sweeping. What can I do for you? Well... I just wanted to come in here and introduce myself. Oh. I'm Thorf Salt Shaker. These are my compatriots. We're about to go into the g the gem mine. Oh, oh, you're and, adventurous. Uh, we had just talked to Oris. He said we should come talk to you and just say hey. I'm just I, I don't want it. I don't want to get lost in there. Oh. You know, if we go if we're in there for too long, oh, since money save our asses. But yeah, do you have any I don't know advice about the mine? Oh. I Oris is such a he's oh, he's just trying to get my attention. I'll tell you what, the mine is our, <laughs> it's our um, lifeblood for our town. If you yeah. need a place to stay, um, and if you're taking care of the 
horrible things that are happening down there. I would love to uh, just offer you a room. Would that be okay? Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. We, get us our room set, set up. Dope. We'll go do a thing. We'll come back. Some bloody cobalt heads. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, they'll be dead. And, yeah, we'll spend the night here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, awesome. What was that song you were singing? Oh, it's yeah, it pretty it's, a, it's a little ditty that my father used to sing. Uh, apparently, around, I don't know, 50 years or so ago, a mysterious woman in a fur-lined red cloak, she came by the east side on her way to Lonelywood. Um, the woman was alone and frightened. We tried to console her, my, my father, um, but... Uh, it was of no avail. A howling wind burst into the inn and tossed the woman about like a rag doll. And my father intervened, giving her time to escape. But the evil wind followed her. She uh, she gave us this ring as payment. And you uh, she pulls a ring from a chain around her neck. And if you look closely, it has it's a it seems it seems to be a wood ring with fur lining. And a depiction of two, almost like ferrets, um, kind of making a yin yang on the top of it. You said ferrets? Yeah, they look like little kind of um, weasels, critters. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of. They they look like ferrets, to be perfectly honest. I, uh... They're long cats. She goes, yeah. This was uh, given to us by uh, the mysterious woman in red. And that's her song. She was singing it to herself. Oh. Interesting. So she went to Lonelywood. Yeah, yeah. Well, no way to put her. if she Wonder made it, we're not sure that she made it. She was on her way there, but... How long ago was this? Oh, 50 years it... or so. Maybe related, but... Probably not like crucial. Yeah, let me uh, let me see if I got the image of this ring. Mm -hmm. Um, I do not. I'll upload it real quick. So yeah, just um, I'll get your rooms prepared. If there's anything else, let me know. I don't think there is. Well, are we ready to venture into the mine? So yeah, there, there's that ring. Oh, that is a giant ring. <laughs> Oh, that what? is cool. They're like snow foxes or something, or yeah, it is. minx. Yeah. Stoats. She goes. Okay. All right. If there's anything else, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to help. You're good. Let's go. Uh, we'll probably be seeing you once we're done. Thank you. All right. Um, you all head. <laughs> it, if you continue to the. Uh, to the mine? Yes. Okay. Uh, outside the tap. Uh, nope, 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 nope. The entrance to the gem mine is an open tunnel in a hillside. Uh, there's empty carts parked near the entrance next to which a crude wooden sign has been propped up. Written on the sign in charcoal are the words kobolds only in common uh, with a little exclamation mark. Um, you... Sarge, uh, roll insight. Roll insight? Yeah. That is... How's the penmanship on this side? Oh, it's, it's like... Oh! Negative one to my insight, but nat 20. Okay. Um... So the words are written in elaborate calligraphy. Uh, this, oh, okay. uh, this is actually, I'm answering Brian real quick. Uh, <laughs> the words are written in elaborate calligraphy, m much more than would be expected from a kobold, for sure. Uh, because you rolled a nat 20, you look just, towards um, your familiar, and... You, you, what you expect is that you expect to hear it talk to you, but, um, it, 
it just remains your familiar uh, floating orb. It doesn't. It doesn't say anything. Cool. <clears throat> um, so the mine. Uh, looking into the mine. Um, okay. It's a uh, got seven foot high ceilings. Uh, the, but the wider areas will have around an average of uh, twelve feet. Um, there's no light that you can see in inside of the mine from from here. Good thing we all can see in the dark. Plus, I can make light. I am going to. I want to. Maybe we should be sneaky. So no making light. All right. And I go last. You're not very sneaky. Me? Eight decks? No. <laughs> uh, I can't see in the dark. You cannot. <laughs> No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Kellen believes you're an elf. Yeah, I'm so just gonna. Assumed... Yeah, I'd be like, go, I, we're just like telling you to go ahead. Like, come on, you know. All right. Thing. Uh, as you guys step into the mine, go ahead and place your character icons um, here. I kind of shift the map a little bit. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. So that it lines with the... Uh, it still doesn't really align, but that's okay. Do you guys mind giving me uh, just one moment to fix the map real quick? Yeah. Okay. My yeah, sure. connection to the server has been interrupted. Anything I do will not... Hey, me too. Oh, dear. Okay. Um... You should just turn off, turn off the grid. Turn off the grid on uh, roll twenty. There we go. And use the grid on the map. That's true. Yeah, I've not been able to get anything to line up on roll twenty, no matter how much I. No, it's not. The no. Just turn off the grid. I, I just <laughs> got know, it. That's why I always have to resize you guys all the time. Yeah, I, I just got it, so I think it should be fine. But if there's any more issue, I will turn off the the grid if if it has any kind of keeps messing up. Okay, um, are you guys in there? Nope. Uh huh. Nope. Connection to server has been interrupted on my end too. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, launch. King. I'm gonna refresh. Yeah, let's see. Let me refresh. Rat. Because randomizing dice roll is critically hitting. Getting all the crits out of the way before you guys start. Yeah. Smart move. <laughs> let's see if it works to work for me. All right. Getting, sure. gathering steam. All right. And I see me. Okay. I'm cool. back. Are we all in? Oh, four. I still can't drag Sergeant. Ah, dang. All right. Let me. Oh, I hadn't done that yet. Hold on. You can't drag him out? All right. No. There we go. And to you. Um, yeah, I'm trying. Next. Average next. All right. Next. Apply. Messed up. There we go. Now it's fixed. All right, and then I'm going to take off the grid on roll twenty. So we'll just use the um, map grid as viewed, and that's it. Uh, you all are level two, correct? Oh, yes. All right. I had to update it on roll 20 because I hadn't done that yet. Cool. Um, let's see. You all enter into the mine. This is completely dark, so... Uh, I mean, you all are not going to be able to see anything. Rough-hewn steps yeah, descend about 60 I... feet. And as you enter into the first chamber, you head down underground 60 feet. Uh, you see racks holding picks and hammers are nailed to the walls of this small cavern, and the floor is covered with rocks and dust tracks. Is it mine? 
I got 60 feet of dark vision. Okay. And I see everything in shades of red right now. Cool. Really? Let's do this. I use uh, um, my familiar I'm just gonna like uh, basically try and like see through his eyes third per- third camera third person view it mm-hmm. just to get dark vision through him okay so you two have dark vision um And I'll just keep in mind that Salt Shaker, and to you, you are Elven, right? No. I look like an elf, but I'm a shiftling or a changeling. Okay. Okay. So you have dark vision. None of us are aware of yet. Yes. Yeah, Except for Sarge. Sarge Yeah, I didn't know. And Sarge didn't know that that was a secret. He just thinks that that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't he hasn't brought it up because he's like, yeah. Huh. It says here that she is a change. She can change her form. Huh. Okay, so you have dark vision. Only Salt Shaker Dwarf has regular eyesight, so I'll just keep that in mind. Nope, nope, nope. I have dark vision. Really? Only to you, it doesn't. I'm yeah, I don't have... Dwarfs have dark vision. Oh, only to you. Okay. Um, in... In which case, I'll just do that, okay? All right. Um, so you see some tracks in the dirt running off into the distance. And um, you have three, two ways to your south and, and a kind of a direction to your east available. Um, so there's just like signs of, um, a, there's no, the tracks lead anywhere? Roll survival check. Okay. And a nine. I got a fourteen. Okay, with a fourteen. It is sixteen. Looking in the looking at the ground around you, you see that there are uh, reptilian tracks heading this way, heading this way, and this way. But you specifically see some rodent-like tracks heading to the east. Um, mm, what are those? Because I don't have dark vision. Hmm? Say that one more time. Would I see those? Because I don't have dark vision. You rolled a you rolled a, a wisdom check. Uh, yeah. Do you have a torch? I think so. Yes. With the torch, you'd be able to see your. Let's give you a sixty foot vision, um, with thirty being like up close vision that you can see well, and then it's out to sixty being dim. Okay. Or how it, you know? Let's take a look at how that would operate exactly. Give our position away to everybody in the mind. Yeah, essentially. Well, I can't see. <laughs> I know that. I'm just. That's, I just. Oh, I'm sorry. Nobody. It's... Everybody else in here can. So if they, if a light turned on, they'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, it's a uh, bright light for in a 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet out from that. So you are able to see that there are rodent tracks heading to the east, um, and uh, reptilian tracks heading to the south. Okay. I tell the group. I also tell them I can't see. I can't see in the dark. Uh, weird. I thought all I thought all elves could see in the dark, but I guess, you know, you can't assume anything. What do I know about elves? I'm a dwarf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go with so, that. Oh, when you change uh, into that form, when you change into that form, you don't gain the racial benefits of that at that form either. Just the appearance. What are you talking I, about, Sarge? I don't know what you're talking about, Sarge. I, I, okay, I'll guess I'll. Let me yeah, write some stuff down in my notes. I, 
Maybe I had your powers wrong. Well, I'll speak on this later. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it later. Are you talking about the scan, the body scan you did? Yes. Oh. Yes, of course. What did it turn up? Uh, that all of that's... you are normal. Yeah, Just that's not Unremarkable. Weird. Just, I have various powers. One of you gets hot. One of you can morph. One of you is shorter than the others. <laughs> I'm assuming... Unassuming stuff. All right, which direction? I've never going? morphed in my life, and I'm not. <laughs> Weird. Mm. All right. Well, I don't know. Do we want to fight lizards or lizards and rodents? I don't know what that means. I mean, there's probably more than one type of creature on down this one hallway. What do y'all do? What do y'all want to do? We came here to fight kobolds. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's. So which rats? Which south track are we going to take? I don't know. Which someone else? I don't. Except, uh, uh, to you. You're the one who sees these, these tracks. Even though I know, knows what's going on, you, you pick a direction. Uh, let's do this one. Very well. What about um, you know our, uh, our our tribal kind of friend, a Bavarian friend? Do you have any uh? Do you have any extra senses or anything like that? No. Efficiency. Mm. Okay. Well, let's follow the. I walk down this way. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, your ear hurts. Uh, I'll get. I'll Aww. help you. Yeah. Would you hear something loud? The doctor. The dog bark. Okay. Doctor. Oh, the doctor. Okay. Yeah. Oh my doctor is too down. Okay. Um. You the all see. <laughs> you all enter into a large cavern. Uh. The. There, the way that you're entering in, this little pathway that you're going down, is seven feet higher than the floor of the cavern uh, of the larger space. The um, There's benches and tables. They're set up as workspaces where the miners would clean any gemstones they would have found. Um, looking into this large room here. Uh, da -da -da -da, I'm going to reveal it. Uh, you see that scattered across the floor are hammers, picks, and broken lanterns. Um, there's gravel and pebbles are strewn on the floor, and the it looks like the miners were forced to leave this area in a hurry. Hmm. 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 Uh, can I do a survival check to see if the footprints keep going, or if they just turned around at this cliff face? Um, they definitely continue to keep going. Uh, if you do... Okay. You do see... Roll, um... Roll, roll investigation. If you want to know a little bit more. That is a 13. Uh, you find a small figurine of a dog carved out of rock with two pebble-sized tourmalines for eyes. Um, it was like hit, it was like knocked off of a, a counter in a hurry. It looks like a miner was making it on their break. Aww. So it's down here somewhere. Yeah, it's just it's a, a little a little tiny treasure. Cool. Uh, that figurine is worth ten gold pieces. Wow. That was a good yep. statue. Yeah. Item. Figurine. A dog with jam eyes. Cool. Hmm. Alright, uh, footprints keep going. Uh, 
They continue south. South? Okay. So I guess I'll continue leading the way south. Okay. As you turn the corner, you're suddenly, you begin to hear the sound of uh, almost, not roaring, but falling water. Um, mm, the, yeah. uh, the room suddenly drops away into complete darkness. Um, wooden planks and struts form a walkway along the wall of a seemingly bottomless vertical shaft. There's a narrow waterfall that cascades down from the northeast wall, and the sound of rushing water is loud, but you you don't really hear the sound of water hitting anything. It just continues down. Um, Fucking ominous. More walkways are attached to the northwest side of the cavern, about 30 feet down. Um, how sturdy does this walkway look? Roll investigation. Uh, that's a two. I trust it wholeheartedly. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. The sound of the. I, I'm gonna make a little retcon there. The sound of the waterfall is kind of drowning out. It, the echoes off of the walls are, are creating this kind of. Uh, white noise space where it's really difficult for you to pick up like normal views. Yeah. If the planks were snapping underneath your feet, you wouldn't know. That's correct. There you go. Boom. Done. Well, I'm going to move forward. <laughs> I live. Okay. Okay. You continue forward. Who's next? Are you next? Okay, what's your uh, what's your passive perception? Fifteen. Okay. Um you continue forward. I hey, go Sarge. next. Hey Sarge. Yep. Be uh, careful. Yes. Be careful. Thank you. I'll give him a, I'll give him a D four guidance. Oh, nice. Hey, Sarge, roll perception. Perception? Add, add a D4 to that, if you want to. Yeah. Okay, that was... Uh, 15 with that D4. Okay. Um, with the D4? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you... You feel like the boards are kind of rattling in a in a way, rattling, almost as if they're being like hit by something. But the oh. sound of the the waterfall is is kind of overbearing and making it difficult to feel anything. Or to suck I... Damn. Damn. I do want to turn back. <laughs> What's wrong, Sarge? You get a funny feeling out there? Uh, no, it's... it's this is... I feel like this bridge is unsafe. Is there... Is there anything over there? Do we have to be out here on this? Are you looking over the planks? Uh, I think he's asking, "What do I see?" Sure. Yeah. 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 Are you, are you looking like down? Me? Yeah. No. Are you no, I'm looking over. Looking down? <laughs> you want to still? No. No. <laughs> no. I was looking at. I was looking at these guys trying to say, like, "Do we have to be over here? This thing seems unsafe." Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> do not look down. Um. Roll, go ahead and roll an insight for me. Insight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a four. Ooh. Um, your buddy, your familiar, chimes in goes, 
Hey, Sarge. Sarge. <gasps> We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, I think it's going to be about uh, 60 feet down. You got to go down there. Can you, can you, can you take a quick look? <laughs> oh no! This is, this is so stupid. Uh, um, why? Why are you calling? I'm your familiar. I'm I'm your best bud. You just gotta go down a little bit further. We're almost there. This Do feels like Booster Gold if Gideon was evil. Yeah. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Uh Do I I mean, do I get that this this is a good do I think this is a good thing? Do what do I Like was that in I I don't want to do that. I, I don't. <laughs> And I don't, I don't even question, just like, I, I don't, I'll just say, I don't, don't think we should be out here. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's finish, let's leave, let's, let's leave, this is, this is bad, let's, let's go. What, what's over there? What's on that other side? Let's. I, Sarge, you, you can't leave. We're almost there. Look, there's something you need, and there's something I need. We're, we're in this together. You and I, we're best, we're best buds, right? No, no, What's we going are... on, Sarge? What's over there? Uh, nothing. It's just, I don't like the integrity of this, and I don't want anyone to fall down the pit. This, that does not seem like a good thing to do. Well, that's, that's fine. Look, I'm staying on the other side of this. I'm, I'm, I'll just keep watch or whatever. I don't, it seems quiet right now. Okay. Um... You know what? I have backup characters. I'm going to roll So it's this point. thing. What exactly? What what exactly is down there that I would need? Did, are you talking to it? Yeah. Okay. Um, your familiar says. Well, according to my calculations, I think that there's one of us down there. Well, not one of us per se, but there's definitely a strong signature. I don't. I feel like. I feel like if you go down there. It'll really help us both out. We gotta go. We gotta go. We, we, got, we gotta leave. Uh, I'll rush in here and just like, let's... Alright, hurry up. Hurry, hurry, now, hurry it up. Now, hold on, let's... hold on, hold on. I don't... This isn't... You don't need to be in danger. You're not in danger. Let, let, me, let me explain. It's just... It's a, a piece of us is down here, right? If you want to become whole, or even if you want to become separate, you're going to need a focus. Something something yeah. to help you along your way, right? Yeah, you can float too. They all float down here. <laughs> <laughs> just just help me out. Follow the water, George. We can help each other. You don't need to fight this. No okay. means no. Um, what is Kellen looking at? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to ignore him. I'm okay. trying I'm trying to ignore him. Cool. Uh, to you and Kiln, you guys see, uh, you enter into what looks to be a, a wooden pulley system, which has been constructed around a large hole in the floor. There's a big bucket that's uh, big enough to hold a humanoid, and it's being held by a thick rope. There's uh, three alcoves next to the lift, which contain wooden boards and mining equipment. So the bucket is used as a uh, lift hoist, um, and it goes down uh, one level. Uh, so it goes down about 30, uh, 30 feet. It's controlled I'm using a break. Like a spinning blade. It looks like a spinning blade. It's not. Don't don't worry. It's it is a, a pulley system. Um, it can hold one medium creature or two small creatures at a time. Okay. I thought that was a fan too, or like some yeah. kind of yeah. I was I was so, right there with you, Justin. It's it looks tiny, like a pulley like a... system. We can go downstairs. Do we want to continue going this way or turn back? Uh, 
We should at least see what's down there, shouldn't we? Oh, I, well, I can't really hear this conversation, I don't suppose. No. No, you, uh, you're not able to hear past the, um... Yeah, waterfall. The waterfall. Oh. That sounds fine. I jump in the bucket. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess this is this is something that's happening now. I'll send it back up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you're going to go down one at a time, essentially. Yes. Yeah. Sarge, but for Dwarf to come over. I'll yell at Dwarf to come on. Go ahead come and place over. your There's character. A... You go down uh, 30 <laughs> feet and go ahead and place your character at this point right here. Okay. So the rest of the group, uh, he sends the. Um... Hold on, I've got a, a singing child next to me. Hey, Ellie. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm telling myself to be careful. Great. Um, you, you uh, as you go down the uh, shaft, the hoist system. You see, uh, the <laughs> uh, you see a, a kind of a tunnel system. Uh, I'll reveal it to you right here. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a penguin. Here, hold your penguin. Ellie, go go downstairs and play, please. Bye. Um, and then you would send up the the. You could control the pulley system from down there to send it back up, or two you could could bring it back up. Um, the mechanism creaks as the bucket the bucket lifts, descends to the floor of a small cave where two dusty tunnels lead in opposite directions. Old oh, dusty tunnels. Missed that guy. Yeah. Um, so, Kiln, you're down there. The rest of you are up top. I okay, move out of the I... way of the bucket. Oh. Uh. Uh. Thwarf, roll perception as you cross the bridge. It looks like you did. Uh. Does that work? Oh no. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> I mean it did work, but I did really bad. What'd you roll? A three total of three with guidance. Okay, um, you cross and uh, you don't, you don't really. It, it, the the thing seems to be holding. Um, you don't notice anything. I'm just like staring at the wall, hugging the wall. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're hugging the wall and you, you make it across. There's you know you're like, Jesus Christ, you 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 made it right. Or I'm sorry, Buffett. Buffett made it. Holy Buffett, you made it. Holy Buffett. That's me. Um. <laughs> Holy no, no. <clears throat> Ellie, please. Shh. Okay. Um, so you all head down one at a time. Nothing. Okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, and you all have arrived onto the second level of this thing. I'll be right back. Uh, we'll, we'll continue from here in about uh, five minutes. Hell yeah. Cool. All right. All right.